Drop the roof and let the smoke be. Hey loves and welcome back to another video. So if you're new, my name is Bria. If you didn't know, now you know. So on today's video, I wanted to create a look for Valentine's Day. So if you guys um want to see this look, make sure you also comment down below. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe and become part of the family. So without me wasting any of your time, let's get straight into this video. So loves, make sure your face is moisturized before you apply any makeup on your face. So I'll be using this Make Prep and Prime to prime my face and I'll be also using the Avon Illuminator to also give my skin that glow. I shot this video um, the day before Valentine's Day because I wanted to post it on Valentine's Day but I didn't want to push it because I didn't have time to edit it so i always um apply the primer on where i always um crease a lot and i also go um, with this avon um setting spray because i love my makeup to be matte and i'll be going with the yardley translucent powder this is an og just in case you guys didn't know i have normal to oily skin so i just love my makeup to be matte so that it can last the whole day So I'm brushing my eyebrows upward with this old spoolie. You guys can use an old mascara brush to brush up your brows. And I'll be using the Essence um, Eyebrow Pencil in the color OT. You guys, this pencil, it's so not even expensive. It's 40 rands if I'm not mistaken. And I love using it on my brows. It's the best thing I've ever purchased, you guys. I wouldn't want to lie um when i first bought it i bought the wrong um color as i thought but i learned to work with it because eventually it matches um with my eyebrows and i don't even like to draw my eyebrows as thick anymore i just love when my eyebrows look so natural and yeah I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the number 40 to clean up my brows but for my top brows I'll be using my foundation and number 350 um, caramel just so I can make my eyebrows to look natural and so that my eyebrows can look clean if you guys want to see a full tutorial on my eyebrows just comment down below I'll definitely do that for you guys So loves, I forgot to mention that you need to clean up your brows with the color of your foundation just so that when you blend everything, everything just looks seamless and you don't have any harsh lines or whatnot when it comes to your eyebrows. So you guys will just see everything that I did on my eyebrows but as I mentioned if you guys want to see a 
full on tutorial on how I did my brows, comment down below. I will do it. Guys, and I'll be using the Lash and Brow Essence um, brush to keep my eyebrows in place and so that they can last the whole day one thing about this lash and brow thingy from essence baby it makes your eyebrows stay in place for the whole day so i'll be using the same concealer that i use on my bottom brows to highlight my marks and also highlight under my eyes i let this concealer sit for five sec before i can blend it and then afterwards i'll be using the avon i'm setting spray to set the concealer and then afterwards this when i'll start blending it I'll set the concealer with the Yardley translucent powder just so it can stay in place before I can even apply my foundation. So I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the color 350 caramel and afterwards I will set my foundation with the very same setting spray before blending it and then yeah. set my foundation i'll be using the yardley translucent powder and for highlight i'll be using the same concealer i used before in the color 40 to highlight under my eyes and i'll be blending my concealer under my eyes with the technique beauty blender So to set under my eyes, I'll be using the Yardley Translucent Powder and I will dust off the excess powder on my arm. I love when I push the product in under my eyes just so I can set the concealer properly so that everything doesn't increase or move as I would say. I don't know how to explain the step but I just love doing this just so everything just looks flawless you guys i don't like flashbacks whenever i take my pictures the only part i love to bake is under my jawline after i've just contoured and everything and i also like to set my nose just so i can make it a bit slim so i can catfish here a bit so that's all i love to do whenever i use this the excess powder on my face i'll be using the maybelline fit me powder in the color 350 one thing about maybelline fit me powders baby they do the job and they make your face looks airbrushed i'll be contouring my 
nose with this palette i don't know where i got this palette from you guys um it doesn't have a name even the box right now it also doesn't have a name but i'll be also using um the revlon color stay impressed powder to also contour my nose To set um, the contour on my nose, I'll be using the Yardley Translucent Powder just so I can give my nose that slim effect. So I use the Revlon Color Stay um, Press Powder on my eyelids just so I can blend the contour I did on my nose. Contour my cheekbones. I'll be using the Revlon Color Stay Press Powder in Karubi or Karubi. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll be using the same. Um, press powder I use on my nose and my eyelids the that I'll be using is from Esket as you would see is hitting the pan because I use this blush a lot and a quick tip for you guys whenever you guys are applying blush make sure that you guys don't smile because why would you apply blush smiling it's not like you're gonna smile the whole day To highlight my cheekbones, I'll be using the Wet n Wild Make a Glow Highlighter, baby. One thing about this highlighter, ah, babe, this is the best highlighter one needs to buy, and it's not even expensive. I think it's around 100 rand, if I'm not mistaken. I've been using this highlighter probably for two to three years now. my highlighter with my powder brush i just need to actually buy a technique brush so i'll be lining my lips with this lip liner i don't know where i bought this lip liner but i remember but it was from a drugstore it was around 25 rand if i'm not mistaken it was pretty much cheap i was using it for my eyebrows at first but i realized that it's way too dark so now i'm using it to line my lips so i'll be lining my bottom lash line with this essence white liner I did my wing liner off camera but I'm going to show you guys the product that I use and it's from Essence as well. The mascara I use is from Essence as well. Heels lash, Mr. Price. Shout out to Lungile Tapete baby because these lashes are the bomb. So for my lips, I'll be using this Mark slash Avon um, lipstick. It's in matte. I don't remember the color, but yeah, I love lipsticks like this, you guys. Um, and this has been my go-to um lipstick. 
so far and I really want to try um, new lipsticks also this year and just trying to give my lips that baby um, look I'll be going with the Avon um, setting spray once again to set my makeup and I'll apply my lashes off camera after um, everything and I went ahead and lined my lips once again So yeah loves um this is how i look at the end i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you like down below comment down below what videos you guys want to see of me next and i'll see you guys on my next video but before we go make sure you also follow me on our instagram because i'm kind of active there and you guys will see this look with a sexy lingerie and yeah i'll see you guys on my next video Drop the roof and let the smoke clear